Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. We're going to be solving trig equations. Now we've gone through the whole sequence here with the unit circle and how the trig functions are used in the unit circle. And just some things that you have to remember, and if this is going way too fast for you, you definitely need to be watching some of the other videos in this series. And the series is called How to Use the Unit Circle. So look for that. Go to my channel, Math Class with Terry V, and do a search on How to Use the Unit Circle and make sure that you watch some of those previous videos that work up to this one. Well, we have 30, 60, 90 triangles, and the short leg will be 1 half. The long leg is three, uh, radical 3 over 2. Sometimes with some angles on the unit circle, you'll get a 45, 45, 90 triangle. In that case, the sine and cosine values will be radical 2 over 2, because both legs are congruent. And in the unit circle itself, we're talking about these triangles that are formed as you rotate around and use certain angles. Okay, Remember the cosine value is horizontal, the sine value is vertical, and the 30, 60, 90 triangles, notice the 3 and the 6, we're talking about sixths of a radian or thirds of a radian. Okay, Notice those green shaded angles there as we go around the unit circle. If it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, where you get those leg values there, radical 2 over 2, that's at this yellow shaded area, the 45 degree angle. That results in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and 135, and 225, and 315, and so on. Notice the radian values are all fourths. Pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. All right, now you don't have to memorize these things, but you do need to be able to determine what kind of triangle you're looking at. Now let's go ahead and solve these trig equations. And what we're looking for is the value of the angle theta. Now in this case, that theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi. And that's your clue there that those are radians. We're going to be expressing our angles in radians. So let's look at 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 28. All right, go ahead and get a piece of paper, and you want to solve for angle theta and think about what it looks like on the unit circle. Click on pause and give this a try. All right, in number 23, we have to get sine theta by itself. Obviously, that means we're going to have to divide by 2. All right? Now, 0 divided by 2, of course, is still 0, so sine theta has to be 0. All right, now sine is the vertical component, and if we want 0, what's that look like on the unit circle? Obviously, we need to remember sine is the vertical component, that's the y-axis value, and the cosine value is this horizontal or the x value. Okay? Now, where around the unit circle is the sine value 0. That would mean that we wouldn't be going up or down at all from the origin area. So it looks like that would be at a 0 degree angle and at a 180 degree angle. But remember, we're talking radians. So 0 radians and pi radians. So theta has to be either 0 or pi radians. All right. Number 24. We're going to have to simplify this fraction over here on the right side. And remember that negative 2 is being divided by the 2, and so is this radical 3. That 2 applies to both parts. So let's rewrite this, kind of simplify it a little bit. Negative 1 plus cosine theta equals, what's negative 2 divided by 2? That's got to be negative 1, right? And negative radical 3 divided by 2. So negative radical 3 over 2. All right, if we add 1 to each side, 
that will of course cancel out the ones on both sides all right so here's what we have cosine theta equals negative radical 3 over 2 so then theta would be what all right so think about that cosine theta negative radical 3 over 2 if it's a radical 3 over 2 value, that's the long leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Cosine is horizontal, so if we're going to go clear out here as a long leg, that must be um, pi over 6, because we would have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and the cosine value would be um, radical 3 over 2. But remember that that is negative. We're looking at a negative value there. So let's go on the other side we're talking 5 pi over 6 right now at the same time I could go out radical 3 over 2 in a negative direction and we'd still have this 7 pi over 6 so it looks like we've got two possible answers there and this one was wrong because that's a positive value let's check that 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6 alright here it is 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. All right, now I'm going to show you four more problems for you to try. Remember, your answers for theta have to be in radians, so simplify and solve those equations and figure out what theta is. Good luck. Number 25, that 2 is being divided into both parts, so that would simplify to 1 minus radical 3 over 2 equals 1 plus cosine theta. Now we know that we can subtract 1 from each side which is going to cancel in both sides there. So cosine theta must be negative radical 3 over 2. Alright, theta is then going to be, and we'll figure that out in just a second. Here we have negative sine theta equals negative 1. Let's go ahead and multiply each side by a negative 1 which is actually going to change the sign in both sides. So sine theta would be a positive 1. Okay, did you catch that? In order to change the signs on both sides we multiply by a negative 1. So what angle theta gives us a sine value of positive 1? Let's see. Well, first of all, number 25, notice, is the same answer as we had in the previous problem, okay? Same angles there. Number 26, it says pi over 2. On the unit circle, what does that look like? For the sine value, that's this y or vertical component. If the um, value is positive 1, then we must be going straight up, and therefore, it's a pi over 2 angle, or 90 degrees, okay? Pi over 2, and that's why that works. And for number 27, if I divide both sides by negative 4, I can get sine theta by itself, and let's see what happens. So sine theta is going to have to be, if we simplify that factor of 2 there, that's going to be a negative radical 3 over 2. All right, knowing what I know about a unit circle, I know that has to do with the long leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We'll look at the unit circle to figure that out in just a minute. Here we have uh, dividing both sides by negative 4. And that means that the cosine value has to be negative 1. Alright, let's find out what angle theta is in both of those cases. Alright, so for the sine value to be negative 3 pi over 2 that means I must be at this angle right here because we have the vertical component being down negative on the long leg there and notice how that would also happen at this angle alright so both of those components there would be the long leg of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're lo looking at 5 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. 
for the cosine value being a negative 1, that means we'd have to go back one complete unit on the x-axis. Okay, And the only place that can happen is pi radians, or 180 degrees. Okay, No other way that that can happen. All right, let's confirm our answers. 27, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and number 28 is pi. Okay, that's it for this video, and we are getting to the end of this video series. Um, the very next video is going to be a self-quiz, so I'd love for you to give it a shot. Do a search on my channel for how to use the unit circle self-quiz. You'll need a piece of paper, and I want you to try it this combination of all these concepts. Thanks again for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.